Hey guys, this is Tiamat Ruler back with another episode of Random Wonder Trades. And as you can see as I go in here, I am still trading off Beldums, but if you saw the last stream or if you didn't, um, you know that, well, if you did see it, then you know that I did hatch my shiny Beldum last stream. It was on like the 76th egg. It was like three hours into it. Um, but I did finally hatch my shiny Beldum as we get James from Anguilla. Let's battle. Sorry, James, but we're trading right now. But um, we did finally hatch our shiny Beldum, and it was the perfect Beldum that I was going for. I was so happy um, because it was I was going for an Adamant Beldum, and I got the IV. Oh, my God. We get a Girder, and it's going to evolve. So I've got some more time to talk, I guess, as we pretty much get a Conkelder. But um, the uh, Beldum, the IV spread on the Beldum. The only IV I didn't have was Special Attack, which is the perfect IV spread for a, an Adamant Pokemon. Because you don't need Special Attack if you're going for attacking moves. Like, attack moves. Um, like, physical. If you're going for Adamant, I mean, you're up, attack, down, Special Attack. So, you don't need Special Attack. It was perfect. I was so happy about that. That was, like, the best thing that could have happened to me with that Beldum. Unless it was a 6 IV. That would have been even better. But, I mean... Not like it really matters for that special attack. Um, as the, yeah, we get that Conkelder, that evolution in there. Um, so we're starting off really good here. Um, I actually get Conkelders over Wonder Trade a lot. I don't know why I get Conkel. Like I don't get I don't get Golems or Gravelers over Wonder Trade very often. I don't get my chop my chokes or uh, my champs over Wonder Trade very often, or like Alakazams or Kadabras. I always get like girders and um or girders or conkelders. I get those a lot. I haven't gotten them too often in the like random wonder trades episodes, but I get them a lot over wonder trades. And it's really weird. So we get Savas from Massachusetts who's saying hatching power please. Maybe that means they're hatching for a shiny. Maybe they have some shinies they're going to trade. Who knows? We'll find out. Hopefully we get a shiny from them that would be really cool. Um but I just don't understand cuz oh and we get an EV. But uh, I just don't understand that because, like, Graveler is just as easy to find as a Girder. So we just go to Victory Road and you find him. Or there's other places where you can... Graveler is really easy to find. And so I don't understand why I don't get Graveler as much as I get Girder or Golem as much as I get Conkelder. But I don't know. Conkelder I just get a lot, and it's really, really weird. Um, I don't know if it's just me that just happens to get Conkelder a lot as far as, like, fully evolved Pokemon. Um, but that, for fully evolved Pokemon, that is definitely the one I get the most. It's really random. I don't, maybe not random, but I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe I guess Graveler is not as easy to catch because it uses Explosion or Self-Destruct or something like that. But still, you'd think it wouldn't be as hard to, I mean, you'd think it would be just as common as a Girder or Conkelder on Wonder Trades, at least in my opinion. Machoke I can understand because Machoke a bit because Machoke you can only get from I mean you have to get a Machop and evolve it or you get a Machoke from Friend Safari as we get Charlie from England. Hey Charlie, gonna trade me something good? We started off good but then we got a the nobody cares about the Eevee but we get a Torkoal. Okay so we're getting some Pokemon that you get later in game except, except for that Eevee you get these later in the game bef right around before the 8th gym so um, and it's named Furnace, so I actually do have a shiny Torkoal myself. I got, I won that in a giveaway with a whole party of fire Pokemon, but as my cat, I don't know if you can hear that, but my cat's playing with something in my room. Um, but we're going to go in here and trade off our fourth po fourth Beldum here, and this will be the last time you see Beldums, as I said, um... Because I hatched my shiny Beldum. So next, next tomorrow, I'll probably stream hatching Beneries, which is uh, pretty cool. I don't know even if I, I've mentioned that or not um, earlier in this episode or not, as we get Tom from England, lots of England people. Exception. Not sure what they mean by that, but um, another thing, if I always mention this in my random wonder trades episodes, if you want to participate in the Wonder Cup battles that coincide with these random wonder trades episodes, then either comment in the random wonder trades or the wonder cup battles episodes and let me know 
what your friend code is, your in-game name, and some easy way to contact you where you'll respond quickly if you're available. Twitter is the preferred method, um, but if you don't have a Twitter, you do not have to make one. Just leave some other way, and I'll figure out how to do it. Um, but just some way that I know if you don't respond within a decent amount of time, then I know I just need to move on to the next person because you're not available. That's pretty much what it is. Um, but if you don't, you leave all those, then I probably won't even try to contact you. Like, I need your friend code because it's a lot easier to do it if I can just add you beforehand instead of trying to add your friend code right up, right as we're trying to do it. As we get William from Pays de, L de la Lure, France. I s completely butchered that. I know that. And they say bonjour. I didn't butcher that. Bonjour. Bonjour. I can't say it co completely correctly, but I know how it's pronounced. Um, as we get a spoink. Okay, spoink I don't see too often. I don't see too terribly often. Um, spoink is cool. I'm not going to complain about spoink. It adds a psychic type to our team. Um, so far we've gotten a fighting, a normal, a fire, a water, and a psychic. So we've gotten all different types so far. So we're, the type coverage isn't, isn't too bad. Um, uh, but yeah, let's see what we get for our last Pokemon here. As I get another drink from my cream soda. Man, she's really playing with something in there. I gotta go check on her after this. Just make sure she's not playing with something she's not supposed to, because she does that. She chews on cords sometimes, which is not good. She's chewed up two of my cell phone chargers. I try. I'm, I'm trying something to make sure she doesn't do that anymore. But we get a Ralts. So Ralts... Probably going to be a toss-up for the Ralts and the Eevee for the wild card. That's another thing I need to mention. You do need to follow my rules for the random wonder trade or er, for the uh, wonder cup battles the same way I do it in these episodes. In these random wonder trades, trade six Pokemon, and if you get any dupes along the way, then you can trade off the dupe. But it ha you have to trade off the second one. You can't trade off. You have to keep the first one. You can't pick and choose which one you keep. So if you get like a Ralts with Growl, and then you get like a Ralts with. Uh, Shadow Sneak later on, you have to keep the Ralts with Growl because it's the first one you got. Now, at the end, like I'm doing right now, you can pick one of these six Pokemon that I got. I'm going to go through the team first, but you can pick one of these six Pokemon that I, that, like I can pick one of these six Pokemon I got, use it as a wild card, and wonder trade it off. And that, um, once I wondered, and whatever I get from that, I have to keep, whether it's a dupes, whether it's, uh, something worse than what I traded off, I have to keep it. So it's kind of a risk. It's a gamble at the end. Um... But the first one, we got the Conkeldur. It's even an adamant Conkeldur with Guts, Hammer Arm, Stone Edge, Power Up Punch, and Super Power. So we've got that Power Up Punch to up our attack. Um, and then we've got Stone Edge to for Flying Types or Bug Types or anything like that. Um, and then Hammer Arm, I believe, is actually a Grass-type move, isn't it? No, Hammer Arm. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of something else. It's not hammer arm, it's a uh, uh, wood hammer or something like that. I don't remember what exactly it is. Um, but that that's probably going to be the MVP of our team. Um, we've got an at Eevee with tack, Growl, Tackle, Tail Whip, and Wish. Wish could come in handy, actually. We've got a Torkoal um, with well, it's level 1 named Furnace with Flamethrower, Stone Edge, Bulldoze, and Flame Charge. So that's actually really, really nice. Got some nice egg moves on there. Um, we've got a level 1 horsey with water gun and sniper, but it's got uh, stab move, so that's not too bad. We've got a spoink with splash, psi wave, and odor sleuth. I'm not too big of a fan of psi wave. Psi wave is that one that's kind of a weird one, right? Yeah, the attack varies, and I do not like psi wave at all. Um, and then we've got a Ralts with growl, so we don't really have, I mean... I'm not going to keep the Ralts with Growl because it's a Ralts with Growl. There's no attack moves. It can't do anything. At least the uh, Psy Wave can do some damage. Um, I'm not too terribly worried about it, because, but we can't get much worse than a Ralts with Growl. Either I'll get another Ralts with Growl or I'll get an Abra with Teleport or I'll get something with an attacking move. So I can't get much worse than a Ralts with Growl. As we get Francesco from Tuscany, Italy. Ciao, come va? Come va? 
Is that how you pronounce that? Chiao Come Va? I'm terrible with other languages. I'm sorry. The best I am, I'm the best language I am that's not English. I'm the I can't even word that correctly. I'm so, I don't know. I can't talk today, apparently. The best at foreign languages, the best foreign language I'm probably good at is probably Spanish because I went through Spanish in high school. I don't know if that made sense. I was trying to word it properly, and for some reason it just couldn't come to my mind. Um, but we got a Froki, so, I mean, it's probably better than the Ralts, I would assume. Yep, we get Pound and Growl, so it's better than the Ralts with just Growl. So, um, but these are, this is our team. Uh, pr the best ones are, pro I'm looking at that Torkoal and that Conkelder. That Torkoal is surprisingly good. Uh, sur su surprisingly good, there we go. Uh, looks like its defense is super high, which makes sense because it's a Torkoal. Um, but we've got a bunch of different moves there for it. I mean, flamethrower, stone edge, bulldoze, flame charge. We got three different types on there. Um, so yeah, our weakest link is probably going to be this Froki. But yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. If you're a first time viewer, please subscribe. And this is Tiamat Ruler signing out. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And have a great day. Peace.